Hello everyone. Welcome you for the Satyabama YouTube lectures. Myself, Dr. Subhashini, Professor and Head, Department of Information Technology. Today I am going to talk about artificial intelligence and its engineering applications. This is the topic. In this we are going to discuss about what is AI and where this applications, where the AI has been used in various applications. Artificial intelligence means we have to develop an intelligent machines. How a machine can think and react like a human. Human behavior, we have to observe the human behavior. In that way we have to train the machine so that we can extract the insights and it will be helpful for decision making. For example, if the master, I need a cup of coffee. So this is the request given by the master means the robot has been already trained built with various samples. After that, the robot can be able to give a cup of coffee to the master like how a human is behaving. So this is the way in which we can build the AI models using robotics. So this is one of the interesting application. Then in addition to that, lot of things are there. Using IoT and sensors also, we can build the AI models. For example, if a person is coming inside a room, the sensors will sense the information about how the person is coming, whether the person is inside. According to that, the lights will be switched on. If he comes out from the room, then the lights will be switched off. In that way, it senses, this is non-memory computation, it senses and works accordingly. This is also will be useful in smart room, smart home applications. So these are all the applications we are seeing in our day to day life. Like that, this is the basic thing. Artificial intelligence means it focuses on memory, perception, anticipation, problem solving. Finally, the human brain can take the decisions. So all these things we could be able to implement using the technology like AI, ML, database, like that we can deploy and we can develop the intelligent machines and that will be useful for decision making. So this is the overview of subset. AI is the whole set inside this AI, this deep learning and the machine learning are the subsets. So if you want to achieve artificial intelligence means that could be done through AI and ML algorithms. So this is the way AI means it will mimic, mimic the human behavior. We can develop the intelligent machines using the AI. Machine learning means without explicit programming, it, we can make the machines to learn. Then deep learning means with last amount of data, exclusively these deep learning will be used for computer vision, image processing, object detection. So these deep learning and machine learning all the subsets of AI, all the AI applications could be achieved through this ML and DL. And these are all the machine learning trends. This machine learning algorithms will be used in uh, self-driving Google car, fraud reduction, pattern recognition, then in social media, text sentiment analytics, in online recommendations. So movie recommendation, product recommendation for various recommendations, YouTube recommendations, all these things, the background process working is machine learning. These are all the applications in social media we can use for product recommendations, for video surveillance. These are all few of the applications where we can deploy the machine learning algorithms. So wherever we go in Netflix, all recommendations, in drug discovery, AlphaGo is one of the gaming. In that also the background behind the processing is machine learning algorithms, character recognition, voice assistance. So these are all few of the applications. Then coming to deep learning. Deep learning means it is a mimic of how a human brain is behaving, mimicking a human brain neural network. In that, so many hidden layers are there. So with the help of these hidden layers, the deep learning will extract all the low level features so that we can easily predict the results in a precise manner, accurately we can identify the objects. So if you are giving an image, whether it is a dog image or cat image, whether there is a car is there, so all these observations can be done precisely using the deep learning algorithms. That is why deep learning is the fastest growing field in artificial intelligence. MIT is also using this deep learning to guide the ICU persons for decision making. Deep learning is everywhere in using internet and cloud, in medical, in media, in security and defense, in autonomous vehicle reduction. So these are all few of the applications using 
deep learning. Then AI applications. AI means we can achieve AI through ML and DL. As I said, computer vision means image recognition and object deduction. Then using speech and audio, we can observe the thing, whether they are in anger, whether they are in happy, what kind of conversation can happen, everything we can do the analysis. Then using natural language processing, we can do text analysis, text analytics. With that only, they are giving the review recommendations, review rating, all these things could be done using the natural language processing. This is coming under text analytics, sentiment analytics. These are all the various uh, applications in various sectors. Then machine learning touching our daily life. We can think about Uber, Ola. So whether these are all, they have to build the AI model for deploying this. So with that only we can identify whether the vehicle is nearby, whether the driver is available. According to the traffic conditions, the rate is increasing for uh, fixing the cab. So these are all the things, the background processes, they are building the AI model using ML. Then coming to the Spotify, we can give the song recommendations according to the user's preference, they can suggest some songs. For that also, these algorithms plays a vital role. Then coming to Amazon Go, this is one of the app. So if you download that app, there is no need to wait in a long queue to make the payments for billing the products. Just like that, we can walk out with the products, we can check the bills. For this also, the background is by algorithms only. In civil engineering applications also, this AI, ML, everything plays a major role for environmental sustainability, for green building, for disaster management, for various applications, they are using this uh, algorithms. Algorithms in the sense, it covers machine learning and deep learning algorithms. In mechanical engineering also, using IoT and big data methodologies, we can identify whether there is any wear and tear in the manufacturing sectors, whether there is a threshold, according to the threshold, it will give an alert notification. Prior reduction could be done to avoid the hazardous situation in the manufacturing sectors and the industries. Then in autonomous cars, Google car is there, like that various uh, things. They can observe the traffic conditions, driverless cars, they are training. For that also, already the machine has to be trained, built with a lot of samples, experiences. With that, it will uh, work accordingly. So autonomous driver cars. So various sensors are there, with that it has been monitored continuously and without the driver it will be practicing in the foreign countries. Then in cruise control also they are using. So using the cruise control they could be able to observe the constant speed of the car that could be monitored continuously. Then in uh, medical sector also for segmenting the brain tumors. So in the initial stage itself it helps the patients to identify, it will be helpful for the doctors to take the decisions in the early stage diagnosis. In chatbots also, this AI plays a major role using the knowledge base, it observes all the things and giving the suggestions to the customers. This will help the industries to maintain the customers retention. In personalization, uh, Sophia, they have developed the humanoid, social humanoid, Sophia, then Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, it is a virtual assistant. So these are all the products, uh, inside the products, this AI plays a major role, the algorithms plays the major role and according to the algorithms uh, working inside the thing, it will be executing and taking the decisions, interactive responses there based upon the algorithms defined inside the products. I hope this session will be informative to you. Thank you.